What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome back to another episode. And JoJo, what are we going to talk about today? Well, today we have some big jobs on the list today. And they're not easy jobs. We always say it's easy money, but today it's going to be some footwork. We can't pull up to the job or back up to the job. We got to actually walk it on out. We got to fetch the stuff and get it. Yeah, it's one of those days where it's not going to be such easy money. So whenever jobs are like that, we always charge more money. Now let's head on out. Let's get this money. You ready or what? Yep. Let's do it. our first job of the day and it's a new customer who found us online and our phone has been ringing off the hook it is probably our busiest summer so far now here's three tips that will help you make more money in the junk removal business and number one is always answer your phone and number two is always deliver what you say you're gonna do and number three don't be scared to hit them with that price and make that money I hope that helps you guys now, you know, Matt Vick had to hit him with that price because check out how far I got to walk. I got to put this stuff all the way out of here with a wheelbarrow and a tarp. So it's a pretty good walk, at least 60 to 70 yards, I would say. And here's the pile right here. It's about a full load, but we'll get it done in about 45 minutes. Our job is complete I'm not gonna lie that was not some easy money I sweated my ass off back there I think I got swamp ass right now seriously no that was that it, okay that was hard work I know often we are just like junk removal easy money today is not easy money today is you definitely it's good money we earned our money today it's good money but it wasn't easy money no we had to walk really far Oh yeah, and the stuff was kind of buried in between all those branches and stuff back there. And you had to watch out for snakes and black widows. And something you definitely, definitely want to do to make life easier on jobs is bring the right tools. Make sure you got a wheelbarrow and you got a tarp. And what we do with that tarp, Jojo? The tarp was really good to lay down and just put all the tiny little pieces of wood and just all the small stuff. You just scrape it into the tarp and then fold it up and then dump it and then use it again. And the wheelbarrow, yes. And the really long pieces, you have to be able to cut them. Sometimes they won't fit in the back of your truck. So make sure you always bring the right tools and to make life easy. So we're heading to the dumps right now. And what's your prediction? I'm gonna say $200, this is a heavy one. It is heavy and I'm not that good at estimating the construction one so i'm gonna say one thing so we back here waiting in the dump line one more time i got talent baby for real what you think no comment <laughs> you embarrassed or what i'm pretty damn sure she's embarrassed what do you guys think jojo are you embarrassed she don't want to say nothing what the hell is my voice pretty or not Seriously, <laughs> it must be horrible then. So look who won, it was a Jojo Lena. It was 163, you won. What the hell, Jojo? Jojo's got her mojo back? I think so. Awesome. So we are at job number two and check out that new hauler right there. We making life easy today. The customer was super nice and said, hey, you can borrow this bad boy. So after seeing that, there is no doubt that he is gonna come home tonight and tell me how much he needs one of those things. <laughs> It's always a fun day out here on the farm, guys. I'm just out here getting money. Ooh. 
look at that hill right there that Jojo has to walk and I get to drive. It's all about having the proper tools. And thank God for this customer letting us borrow this. Making life so easy. So damn easy. And I'll also be cutting that thing up. Not today, tomorrow morning. break time and Jojo's been wheelbarrowing that stuff down the hill like a champion. I'm so damn proud and He's I'm been worn out. Down the hill like a champion. I'm worn out too. <laughs> you want to switch or what? Huh? You guys in TV land, do you think I'm an a-hole for not letting the Jojo drive the new whip? Leave a comment down below. You want to drive it or what? I don't mind driving it. Check out the JoJo's tip of the day, you damn alcoholic. Zinfandel and Syrah. Four bottles. Four. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna lush it up. Oh yeah. Now job is complete in JoJo. It is hot out here. It's hot. It's crazy because it's like summertime is busy time in junk removal. So it's not like an office job where you can be in the AC all day. You're out here in the heat. And it must be 105 degrees today. And I don't know how those guys do it in AZ, Arizona. I cannot do that, working in weather like that. Oh yeah, it's super hot there. So leave a comment down below. Are you in one of those areas that it is just super, super hot? We're California and it gets hot here, but there's, you know, a, a nice little breeze from time to time. Time to time. So JoJo, here's the real question. What's your prediction of the dump fee? Oh God! It's a heavy one. Oh, it is so heavy because those big round uh, pots that you see, they're like, they're terracotta. They were heavy. Um, and there's so many of them. Um, I'm going to say 230. 230. I'm going to say 213 and let's see what happens. So look who won. It was 2,480 pounds at $182. I won. You did win. It feels damn good. Now let's talk trash. And one of the worst things about the junk removal business, I would say, is the homeless people, when you have to clean up after them or they're laying there sleeping there, and yeah. you gotta tell them, hey, excuse me, you have to get up and leave. We're getting paid to clean this part of the property up. And it's really hard to do. I'll never film that when people are down on their luck, but it's hard. It's really hard. It is hard. And you do have to do that sometimes. And then you have to be really careful because oftentimes when you're cleaning up homeless areas, there's needles. There's needles and stuff like that. So you have to be careful with needles. We run across rats, rat shit. Oh yeah. Dead animals, <laughs> possums. Squatters are one of the worst things too because they don't want to leave sometimes. Oh, they don't want to leave and sometimes Yeah, and sometimes there's squatters there and you don't even realize it when you start the job and you see oh There's actually people still here in the south. Oh, yeah, and also Refrigerators sometimes you'll show up to a job and there's a freezer that it was either broken or someone moved out and left the food in there and it's just rotten when you open it up it's just horrible it's been there for five years five years <laughs> so you gotta duct tape that bad boy up and just get it done so that's another thing that's horrible yeah. about the business yeah it's it's not you know so oftentimes it's easy money and other times it's not it's not easy money it's hard work and it's nasty sometimes there's trash maggots oh yes yeah. sometimes you'll show up to a job and maybe you're cleaning something up and there's maggots, all kinds of nasty, funky, dirty, even shit, nasty stuff. <laughs> yeah. So if you're thinking about starting a business, there is some stuff that you have to deal with, but it pays good money. Yeah, and also, once again, you're working in the elements. So if it's raining, you're working. If it's super hot, you're working. And then you have to find public bathrooms. 
So um, we love junk removal, but there are some days where you just kind of shake your head and you're like, this is one of those days. You think I like walking around smelling like funk all day? The money's good. That's why I do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's hoarder jobs too. Oh yeah, hoarder jobs are horrible sometimes. You gotta shovel all that stuff up. They got cans, beans, bags of beans inside like the bathroom cabinets. It's just crazy. Yeah, uh, one time we were cleaning up a hoarder house and under their kitchen sink was a kitty litter. J kitty, like a, where a cat just took craps for 10 years in the damn kitchen <laughs> it it's crazy so bad. it's crazy how some of these people live but you know what that's why they hire you and you make good money yeah and that is why you hire you real you charge a really good money for hoarder jobs oh yeah definitely make that money guys so hopefully you guys like this video if you guys did like this video hit that like and subscribe button we have one more job we're gonna go to we're not gonna film it because it's actually our old neighbor yes and that's another thing about junk removal sometimes people die yeah sometimes people pass away and you gotta go over there and uh get rid of their stuff so it's kind of hard for some people sometimes yeah and it's really really good to be um when you're doing those type of jobs to be the type of person that's very personable and you know know that the family members are going through things and that that is their loved ones things that passed away and you should honor that and be very respectful absolutely so if you guys like these videos hit that like and subscribe button and we love all you guys